everybody. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. I'm so welcome. My name is Marsha with Mimi Makes Keepsakes, and I'm happy that you're here. Thank you for everyone that has liked and subscribed, and my new subscribers. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone that has sent the sweetest comments. I really do appreciate it. So today is Sunday, Sunday afternoon. So we know the time changed. We fall back an hour. Um, and so the afternoons, we know we're losing that sunlight in the afternoon. We gain it in the mornings, but the afternoon, just, it gets darker later. And I'm just not a big fan of that. <laughs> Um, but the days also are getting shorter since the winter months, winter months, winter months are upon us. Um, but yeah, welcome. Um, and I appreciate you being here. So today or this afternoon, and I'm talking about the winter months, the lighting this time of year is so pretty outside. I'm looking outside the windows and it's just gorgeous afternoon light coming in. But anyway. So today I'm going to talk to you what I've been working on this week. Um, my husband and I have another market next weekend. And so the previous market that I did several weekends ago, I did really well. So I've been, every spare moment I get, I've been busy trying to make stuff for the two-day market coming up next weekend. And I still feel like I'm getting further behind, but I can only do what I can do. Um, also, this market, my husband will be showing some of his makes in that market, and I'll share some of that with you also. He's so talented with some of his woodworks that he is doing. And I'm trying to bring up the Etsy, my Etsy, so I can share the patterns that I purchased um, this week. There we go. Um, so, start off... Um, and one of my previous markets, my sea turtles did well. I got to make some more sea turtles and my little mermaid soles. So I've been working on making mermaids. In my previous video, you see my mermaid lovey that I made. And I told you about a situation, a little hiccup that I had with one of the mermaids that I was making because I ran out of yarn and I couldn't find that exact color yarn. Let me go ahead and show you. I believe it was this little lady. Oh, I dropped, <laughs> dropped one of my mates. It was her. So I got to about this part and I couldn't find this color yarn. Um, I thought it was a mainstay yarn from Walmart, a blanket yarn, but I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do. So I couldn't find the exact color, but I did order baby sand from um, Burnett Blanket Yarn, and you can tell it's just a little, a little bit darker. Um, that's the only color that you can see, the color difference that you can see, and I just kept it. Um, it could be, uh, it could be her birthmark. <laughs> you know how our children are born, we're born with different markings, and I just said it's her little birthmark. It makes her unique and cute, but I did finish her up. And her name is May, May the Mermaid. And this is a peg pattern from Etsy from Palms and Posies. And I thought she worked out so, so cute. She's so soft. And I did do embroidery eyes and I gave her some eyelashes, blush on the cheeks. She's got little sea blossoms on her top bun. And I thought she turned out cute. Now this is the pat, um, the material on the bottom, the yarn on the bottom is the sparkly baby yarn. I believe it's baby blanket yarn. It's brunette blanket yarn and it's sparkly. I thought she was adorable. So I made her and while I had the pattern out and I had the baby stand yarn, I made her friend Mary Day. <laughs> so we have May and <laughs> Mary Day. Yeah, her neck's kind of wobbly. I tried to stuff it as much as I could, but I don't know. I know some of you, it just like, you can't handle that. I think it makes part of her charm. She's just like got the sleepy eyes and she's like ready to lay out for a nap. <laughs> but I think she turned out adorable. 
Um, and this is also made with Burnett Blanket Yarn. I believe this was made with the Burnett Baby Blanket Yarn. And this is also the Baby Blanket Sand that I ordered thinking that it was gonna match my little May Mermaid, but it's just a little bit darker. But she has the two Space Bonds and she has the Sea Blossoms crown across the top. And I thought she turned out cute. Both of them are adorable. And so I've got the bigger ones made. Also, these were, like I said, these were made out of Burnett Blanket yarn. And I believe I used a six millimeter hook for them. And then I also made another one with Premier Parfait Chunky yarn. And I gave her the mouth. And I thought she was adorable. It's so soft. Um, so she has the little purple lilac color going on. And I thought she was cute. Now with this one, the head, making the head, the pattern, the head started getting like really, really tall. I'm thinking this doesn't seem quite right. Um, so I cut off a couple rounds off the top of the head and um, her head is different. And then I made another one out of Premier Parfait Chunky and I did the pattern for her. So there's, the head's a little bit different. Um, I don't know. She's just, she's kind of wonky looking in her own cute little way, but I think she's cute. We'll see. Some child may like love her. Now I did give these the safety eyes um, since they are a little bit smaller and may not be more of a lovey. Also with the Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn, I'm not sure exactly how this yarn washes up. I know the blanket yarn washes up really well. Like I told you, my daughter has washed um, my grandbaby's toys, washed them and dried them with the Burnett Blanket Yarn and they do just fine. But um, I'm not sure the Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn, how it washes up. If you have experience with that, just let me know. But also palms and posies. I made two more of these little mermaids and these were made with Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn. And I thought they turned out really, really cute, even though she looks a little wonky. Um, the mouth, I wasn't sure, the pattern doesn't call for a mouth, but with these I gave a mouth and I gave her the long hair. The hair took about as long as it did the body but I thought she was cute. I don't know. It's just a face that you gotta love. And she's got that little smile. And I did give her the safety eyes that has the blue in it. But I'm also gonna, like I said, I need to make some more sea turtles. So I'm gonna make sea turtles in matching colors. And I thought they would turn out really cute. So I've got the two smaller ones so far um, for market. I think I'm gonna make some more smaller ones or make some more larger ones. I know as far as pricing market, I was telling my husband that it, it, it takes just as long to do the smaller ones as it does the larger ones because you're doing the same pattern. It's just using smaller yarn. And um, so it takes just as long to do these large ones as it does these small ones. <laughs> so I don't know how much to charge, but we'll figure it out. Also this week, I made some more lovies. You know how I love my lovies? And I have a video talking about my lovies. So I did make some more lovies. So this is another little dino dozer dino mini. Isn't he cute? Roar! <laughs> oh my gosh, these are adorable. And if you see my video, you know it's these little dinosaurs that got me hooked on Mama Made Mini's lovies. So this is also made out of the Burnett Blanket yarn, um, sandstone. And you've probably seen my larger dyno. I think I have one left. I'll pop a picture. Um, but I wanted, I could make a smaller one by using Premier Parfait Chunky with the larger dyno pattern. But I wanted to use Burnett Blanket yarn. So I end up purchasing the smaller, the mini, um, Dozer, Dozer the Dinosaur. 
So I could use the Burnett Blanket yarn and it would still be small. Because it seemed like the smaller Lovey sold really well. Um, I still have my larger ones, but that's okay. And I did give him the embroidery eyes. So he is safe to snuggle and cuddle with the little one. And I thought he turned out cute. And I also, I made another one with this variegated color yarn. If you've seen my Instagram, you would have seen this little mini dozer dino. And I thought he turned out so cute. <laughs> He's got the little sleepy eyes. So he is cute. And I believe this is um, Sailor's Delight Burnett Blanket yarn. I'm not sure if it's a baby yarn a Burnett baby blanket yarn, but it is a blanket yarn. So I, I've had this in my stash for a while and it's Burnett blanket. So I know it's gonna wash up really, really cute. I also made an Everbear out of the same yarn. <laughs> Isn't this so cute? And y'all, it's so, so soft. Also gave the little Everbear embroidery eyes. And I took a, a lighter to kind of fuse those um, fibers together from the worsted weight yarn. And he kind of got smoked a little bit, but I think it just adds texture to his eyes and his little glint. So this is another little bear lovey that I made from Mama Made Minis. So and like I said, she's got a book coming out. If you've been following her, you'll know that. So this is also something I've made this week. And I also made something else. I saw this pattern pop up. I think Mama Made Minis actually shared this pattern on her page. And it was just so, so cute. Hold on, let me go get it. I think it fell off the table. All right, y'all ready? Ta-da! <laughs> so this is a little fire lizard. And this pattern is by... Hold on, let me pull it up again. This was a paid pattern by Sai, Saya, and Pen. Saya and Pen. I'll share the description down below. But I thought it was so cute. And it's made out of Burnett Blanket yarn. And it's so soft. He did get the safety eyes. But I think this is going to be so cute. I think a child is just going to love this little fire lizard. Isn't it cute? It's like it has his arms open ready for a hug. So, so cute. So that's what I've been working on this week. I've also been working on my um, Viking braided shawl to share with you. And... I've been working on trying to get makes ready for the craft fair coming up this weekend, next weekend. So today's Sunday. So it'll be next Saturday and Sunday. It's a two day craft fair, guys. So also I'm looking to get this craft fair behind me and start doing, um, is it Crovember? That um, Pamela from Ginger Cat Crochet, she is kind of revving us up, getting us all excited about crocheting Christmas things in November. And I have so, so many things that I would love to do to, de to crochet for Christmas. I thought I wanted to do, hold on. I wanted to make some more of these gingerbread boys and girls for the market. And during my, I looked for red in Premier Parfait Chunky, and the red was, I believe it's called Cardinal, it was sold out. And then I looked to order from Himalayan Dolphin Baby. They don't do colors, they do numbers. So I ordered what I thought was red, and I got this bright pink. So I don't know, I may make some up in worsted yarn for market, we'll see. If I do, I'll show you. But I thought they were so cute. Um, and this is a pattern by Rose and Lily that she has the pair. My grandson has the boy. He loves the gingerbread boy. Well, I say he has them. He's in um, their room when they come and stay the night. <laughs> and um, he loves the gingerbread boy. But yeah, I wanted to do this. So I'm really 
looking forward to doing some Christmas makes and some Christmas gifts. So go and check Pamela out at the Ginger Cat Crochet and all of her Christmas makes and join in in Crovember, um, making your Christmas makes all throughout the month of November. Y'all, it's just getting crazy. It's going to be Thanksgiving and Christmas soon, but how fun is that? Oh, I wanted to share with you what my husband made. I just love it. So he's going to be setting up a table. We're kind of half in a table. What did I do with it? Oh, and he is making these. I told him, I said, you need to make some of these. You need to make more of these. Look how beautiful that is. Um, so it's a, well, yeah, it's a mermaid. I'm trying to hold it where you can see. Y'all, my nails are awful. <laughs> I haven't done my nails all week. But he did this, and he did the colors in the back. Um, so he did this little woodwork mermaid. Isn't she cute? I just love her. I can just see this, like, I don't know, just sitting on a shelf in the, in the bathroom or if you have a nautical-type area in your house. I thought she was adorable. Yeah, my husband, he's just knocking them out of the park. But I told him, I said, you really... I just think this is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So he's been busy doing that and making other goodies for the craft fair. But I think that's it, you guys. Um, like I said, just sharing a little bit of what I have been working on this week. Next week is another busy week. I work the first part of the week. Um, I have another photo ses session to do, um, I think Tuesday. But I'm hoping to get some more time to finish up making some more lovies, turtles, and some more things that I think might would sell during this craft fair. But y'all, just the weather is gorgeous. Um, I hope it's nice and beautiful where you're at. I know it's dry here. We do need some rain, but that will come in time. All right, you guys, it's good hanging out with you for a little bit, and I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit. All right, y'all have a great week and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, y'all.